The Kakovka hydroelectric station commonly known as the Kakovka Dam was a run of river power plant from 1955 until 2023 on the Dnieper River in Nova Kakovka, Ukraine. Nova Kakovka is a port city located on the reservoir's southern bank. The dam, part of the Kakovka hydroelectric power plant, is 30 meters tall and 3.2 kilometers long. Construction was started under Soviet leader Joseph Stalin and finished under Nikita Khrushchev. The primary purposes of the dam were hydroelectric power generation, irrigation, and navigation. It was the sixth and the last dam in the Dnieper Reservoir Cascade. The reservoir also supplied water to the Crimean Peninsula, which Russia annexed in 2014, and to the Zaporizhzhia nuclear plant, which is also under Russian control. The deep water channel created by the downstream flow allowed shipping up and down river. The facility also included a winter garden. The Kakovka hydroelectric power plant had 241 staff in October 2015. The director is Yaroslav Kobolya from September 2012. As of 2019, the dam was profitable bringing 6.1 million to local government budgets and 44.6 million to the national income. On the morning of 6 June 2023, during the Russian invasion of Ukraine, a significant portion of the dam was destroyed, possibly by an explosion near the dam's center, releasing a large amount of water downstream. There was an occurrence of an internal explosion of the structures within the dam according to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky Walai. Evacuations and rescue operations were commenced as a result. Russia has controlled the dam since the early start of the war, but both sides dispute cause of the destruction. Russian imposed officials and occupied Ukraine claim sabotage by Ukrainian forces. Ukrainian officials attribute the disaster to the 205th Motorized Rifle Brigade of Russia. Russian officials are also engaged in implausible information campaigns to blame Ukrainian sabotage or as a natural disaster. BBC News acquired satellite imagery that revealed the deteriorating state of the dam since at least 1 June, or possibly even earlier. The imagery also highlighted that on to June, the road crossing the dam had experienced certain damages. Earlier analysis by the hydroelectric power plant and road of the dam deteriorated a week before. The dam had an associated lock and a hydropower station with an installed capacity of 357 MW. Including the long embankments on both sides of the central section, the dam is 3.2 kilometers wide on the side facing the reservoir. From northwest to southeast the central section consists of a barrage dam, the hydropower station, and the lock. The dam was built in the Soviet era and is one of six that sit along the Diana Pro River, which stretches all the way from the very north of the country into the sea in the south. Construction on the dam began in September 1950. The last generator was commissioned in October 1956. Creation of the 2155 square kilometers Kakovka Reservoir in Soviet times forced more than 37,000 people to be moved from their homes. It is operated by Ukur Hydroenergo. In Kherson region, Russia occupies the left or southern bank while Ukraine controls the right or northern bank. The reservoir held 18 cubic kilometers of water, a volume which is roughly equivalent to the Great Salt Lake in the U.S. Water from Kakovka Reservoir supplies water for cooling the 5.7 GW Zaporizhzhia nuclear power plant and to irrigate areas of southern Ukraine and northern Crimea via the North Crimean Canal and Dnieper Kryvyi Canal. Starting in 2019 significant repairs and expansion were made to the facility.